Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we are going to have today the webinar about AGB. We are going to show the AGB module so you can see all the different things that we can do with agricultural tractors. And you can have a quick overview about our software in this sense. You see here the interface. These four buttons are for tracks. And these are the four options that will come in the commercial tracks module. And then this one will be for special vehicles. And this is, will be the manufacturers. But today we, we, we will be taking care of the agricultural vehicles. So telehandlers, uh, harvesters, tractors, and so on. So the first thing uh, to know it is like we can connect using uh, USB or Bluetooth. So when we are connecting to the vehicle, we need to make sure that we have voltage. So you can here to preferences, then we click on Jaltes link, and then we will need to choose the kind of connection that we want to use, either USB or Bluetooth. And then when we select the connection, we click on connection test, and then if we were connecting to a real vehicle, we will get here the voltage that we have. So if we have voltage, we should have communication and then we will be able to connect to the vehicle and diagnosis. So we click on accept and that's it. Yeah. So now let's get started with the agricultural vehicles. We click on it. We can see all the makes that we have here on the left top you can see that we have uh, 46 brands already. We added three more brands in the last update. One of them is here, Mahindra. And as you can see, you can always move one of the brands here to the middle to have your favorite brands. I have here 10 of the most common brands in the North American market. And then, before getting into a vehicle, we have here two different buttons, as you can see, the size standard and the isobus. The size standard would be used if the electronic control units use the communication protocol J1939. You will be able to detect the systems that are in the agricultural vehicle and diagnose the generic fault codes. The proprietary codes uh, of each system will not be available in the size standard, but the basic diagnostic uh, could be done using this button, okay? We click on it, and then we just select the kind of cable that we are going to use, and then we click on a scan, okay? If we go back to the main screen, we also have here the ISOBUS, so the ISOBUS is one of the last things that we have developed in this module. And with this button, you will have access to, to two different functionalities. Uh, you click on it, we will be able to do the diagnosis of the units of the control. It will be usually for the implements and some other screens in the tractor that are compatible with the ISOBUS. And then we have the functionalities checker. The functionalities checker, uh, it, it is used to check the compatibility and functionalities that you can use between the electronic control unit of the tractor and the implement. Basically, from your tractor, a file of compatibility could be generated. And then when you go to the distributor that sells implements, you can generate a file there as well, and then you can compare both files to make sure if the implement could be used for that tractor or not, or if you will be able to diagnose it from the tractor or not. And then you click here on this small file, and then you will be able to open that file here in our software to check the functionalities. So now, let's connect to a vehicle. Uh, let's go to John Deere, as it is uh, the main brand here in the North American markets. You can see here that we have 55 models. 
and all the different series here in the left that we have. And then if we want to connect to uh, a specific uh, John Deere, for example, we go to the 6R series, we click on it, and then you can see all the different systems that we can connect in this uh, specific vehicle, like up to 32 different systems. And you can always decide here which systems you want to connect to. You can scan all the systems, the main systems. You can do a frequent test, check which frequent tests we have for any specific one, like the engine, for example, yeah? What we can do. So you can check here that we can do the injector coding, compression test, and so on. So the, the frequent test, if you just want to do a frequent test in this vehicle. Then maintenance resets, you have here these two maintenance resets, yeah? Go to all system scans. First of all, we go to the vehicle, we click on connectors, and then we want to see where the connector is located and how the connector looks like. One of the connectors that is more used in John Deere is the 9-pin connector. So it's here, you select it, and then you get back to it, and then you can click on scan, and then what you will do is reading all the different systems that are uh, inside this vehicle with the full code. We are using the demo mode now because we are not connecting to a real vehicle, but it will take the same time as if we were connected to a real vehicle. So you can see here that on the left, uh, all the different uh, systems are appearing, and here on the right, all the different fold codes that each system has are showing up. While it is a scanning, you can see here on the left all the technical information that we will be able to have access uh, to this specific vehicle or to a specific system that we connect to. As you can see, as it is uh, John Deere 6R, we are reading many different systems. Uh, that's why it's taking time, because we are reading many systems and many fold codes. So, uh, here on the the right, you see that it is red. If the, we have this red symbol, it means that the four codes are active. If we had a yellow symbol, it would mean that the, we have no active, no active four codes. We have this functionality to make able for the technician to click on it and then see it in a and then you will see a quick overview of all the fold codes that are in the every system, as you can see. So if we just collect all codes and then we go, for example, to the engine, we click on it, then we will see that we have two fold codes. We have first that the fold code is active because it is red. If it is gray, it's not active in this case. Then the proprietary code of the OEM, how many times it happened, and then what the fold code it is. Yeah, the oil pressure in the engine crankcase, for example, the signal voltage is too low. So if we click on the I, we will see free frame data. It is a demo, that's why we have this. Uh, uh, five things about the freeze frame data, but if we were connected to a vehicle, we could have much more information about what is going on with that specific uh, system or that specific fault code, yeah? We have this search bar everywhere, so it is very useful for you to look for any specific thing that you want to, to look for all over the software. So we have this search bar and it's useful. And uh, we click on help and components of the fold code, then we will see the component relating to the fold code. In this case, it's the crankcase pressure sensor. So if we click see information about the component, we will have a picture of that component and where it is located. Then we will also have some operational values, the voltage and also the pinout of that specific sensor. We click on display measurements, we will see the measurements related to that specific sensor in live data. We will check the live data when we are in the diagnostics menu later. 
we click on wiring diagram, we will be able to see where that sensor is in the wiring diagram with the pinouts. So for us to make it much easier to find where that sensor or component is. And if you have any doubt at any moment about the symbology of the diagrams, you can always check here, symbology in diagrams, and then see all the symbology of the diagrams, yeah? We see where the sensor is, so we see where it is connected to. If, uh, Talk about it. Then it uh, Those front tires are only rated for 65 miles an hour. Click here, and then we yep. already find that it's the 50 Q here, right? And then we see how the electronic control unit we looks like. Tires that aren't ready to go that fast. The power supply that it needs, and so on. So if we want to look for a specific component, we don't need to go uh, one by one or click so on the, the next page. Where the, so the problem is, in we can just click this is on new so new components new. list, and then we can use the search bar. Yeah. So if we want to look for the oil pressure so, sensor, um, we write oil and then we click on it, and it will take us directly to that oil sensor. Uh, again, I think that's up on Lumberton right now. We go back to the diagnostics menu. Uh, he has some and trucks. We on how click on fault call troubleshooting, and then we will get uh, uh, how to solve that problem. Right now troubleshooting on how to solve, in this case, the low voltage or short circuit to a lower voltage. Yeah. In the right. We go line, page by page, and then it will tell us how to solve that specific vehicle. Problem. And his right. I we click on connect and then we will connect and it blew the out in his truck I guess, in this case the engine as we said cause an accident then we will be able to read the full codes again that we already did and then we can uh, we are able to clear them once that we uh, have solved them system data we will be able to get uh, information about the electronic control unit we need to change it parameters here it is where you will be able to apply parameters or display them in this case, it's very useful, the injector coding, for example. Monitor. In monitor, we will be able to monitor live data. We can see here that we can monitor up to 179 measurements for this specific engine. So we can just select the ones that we want to, like this one, and pressure and temperature, for example, yeah? So, we are able to click on here and then we will see a whole list of them and then we will see how they are changing while we are doing a test. This case is moving all the time because it is a demo. So we click on here and then we can also graph them. This is very useful and our customers really like it because when they are performing a test, they can see how it's moving. We can have two different measurements. So on one side, in this case, the temperature and on the other side, is the pressure. We can stop it at any time if we see something that we want to take a closer look at. Then we click on here and we have the interactive view as well, like that. So you can create your new group at any time and then it will appear in the monitoring. So if you are always checking the same life measurements, so you will be able to create your own group there. So we are able also to check the system display have a, uh, a look at the system display with the live measurements so you are able to see if all the live measurements are working in the right way or if we have any that is not right we are we are, we are going to be able to see it like very fast in this fault system in this case we can also actuate component like the egr valve we can do system checks for example if we want to do the cylinder cutout just for you to see how a test will, uh, would look like. It will be always the same. It will be uh, information about what that action is about. You can add always your own help here, customize it. We click next, and then we will see here in the second uh, page which conditions we need to meet in order to from the action. We need to have the check mark. If it's a red alarm, it means that we don't have it yet, and then we need to, to have it, yeah? We can show a graphic to see how it is moving, uh, to see where it should be in the green one, yeah? 
this case. So we click on accept, and then you will be able to perform the cylinder cutout on and off all the time. And then you can also graph it to see how the different cylinders are changing with the engine, the fuel consumption, and the engine load. You can put it on and off whenever you want it. In this case, we are in a demo, that's why it's moving all the time. Uh, the on and off button itself. So we click on accept and then cancel as we have already finished the, the process. Yeah. And then anytime that in an action a graph is created, we can save it in the diagnostic report that we will generate at the end after finishing working with that specific vehicle. Yeah. We click on yes, then it will be a story in our diagnostic report that we can always preview here on this button. As you can see, you can put here your logo on the left for your customers, the customer's name, the ID, and all the information about that vehicle, and then you will see all that we have been doing with the vehicle, yeah? What we have monitored, and here you can see even the graph that we have created, yeah? In maintenance, we click on it, we will be able to do the region of the particulate filter and other things, but this is one of the most important things that our customers ask for. So here it is where it usually is found in the maintenance, yeah? The cal calibration, we will be able to calibrate the VGT, the EGR valve, intake throttle valve. Uh, of course, uh, this menu will be the same. It doesn't matter which make or model you are connecting to, but the capabilities will be different depending on the electronic control unit. And then we can also record data. We can record up to 24 measurements for 30 minutes. So you will be able uh, to do a test with the tractor and then you can check it uh, clicking on here and clicking on data player. It will be um, safe in your laptop, then you can play any time here. So we go to the system technical data. We are going to start on the left button here. We will see information of every component system. You can see and again where it is located, yeah? The vehicle service data. This is very useful. So you will be able to know when you need to do the maintenance for the vehicle. General one, every 24 hours in this case, or every 250 hours and what you need to do, yeah? It is information. And then you can be checking and adding comments at any time for your maintenance reports and for your customers or for yourself, yeah? Then the vehicle technical data. We click on it will get technical data about the vehicle. You can see these buttons with a globe. It means that we need internet because it will be impossible for us to have all the information in a computer. It will be too heavy, yeah? So we have here specifications. You can use all, uh, like everywhere in the software, the search bar. We click on titling torques, for example, if we want to change the um, cylinder head, yeah? We click on here and then we will see uh, the process that we need to follow and the order and the different stages, yeah? With the tightening torques, for example. So if imagine that you don't have a full code but you have a symptoms, we can click on troubleshooting by symptoms and then you will be able to see the troubleshooting step by step on how to solve that specific symptom. I don't know, like uh, the engine expels black smoke. We click on it, and then it will appear a step-by-step -step troubleshooting on how to solve that specific uh, problem in the engine, yeah? You can check mark it, as you can see here. So if you start doing it, and then you need to do something else, you can know where you stay. Something very important, for example, in this case, for the fourth uh, step, we need to do a test, to perform a test. 
So we can click on it and we don't need to go to the diagnostics menu. We click on compression test and then th the software will take us directly to the compression test. And then if we click back, it will take us back of where we were in the troubleshooting. So this is everything for the technical information here. We also have releases and procedures for some specific systems. You will get some information of the TSBs, yeah? So if we go back and disconnect, we can connect to any other system like the hydraulic lift. And then we click on it and then connect. And then as you will see, it doesn't matter, we will have again display modify parameters, monitor of life data, calibration of the real lift, for example. So we will have the same menu and different capabilities depending on the system, of course. We disconnect. And now imagine that uh, there is a tractor in the field and you want to and uh, they call you and they have like a full code on the screen. So if you click here on the manual diagnosis, you will be able to know what is going on with that tractor even from very far away. So imagine that there is this full code appearing in the screen of the tractor of the customer and he's calling you. So if you type in and then you click on here, uh, wait, we need to go back here. Imagine that the full code appears here. One second. Oh, it's not in this engine. One second. I need to go back here. Six R series. Okay. As you can see, a diagnostic report is um, created at the end, so we can save it and we can add it to our customers or vehicles. And then we can also add the diagnosis price, the invoice hours, price per hour, the taxes and everything. And then where will it be saved? It will be saved here in the GRP module. So we will have access to it at any time. I will show it to you as soon as I finish with the manual diagnosis. So the six R. Now we click on the manual diagnosis and then this screen will appear. So if we want to know what is going on with this specific uh, tractor. We click on it and then it will tell us what that full code is about. And as before, we click on show helped. It will tell us the component related to the full code, the wiring diagram again, and then we go to the full code troubleshooting. We will be able to have access to the troubleshooting again, yeah? So this is uh, this manual diagnosis is very useful because we know that sometimes the tractors are very far away so it is very useful for us to know what is going on before going there uh, to repair it so imagine that you have any problem with the software you don't know how to do something you can click on the help menu at any time and we can remote to your laptop you come here to contact details to know which our numbers are in kojali usa and then we will be able to remote into your laptop. And we have here some other useful information as the units conversion icon description. We also have Delta training videos, uh, like short videos about how to do uh, specific things in the software. And you will be also able to see the, um, in our website, in the YouTube channel, the webinars that we are always creating. This one will be uploaded uh, the next days as well. You can take a screenshot at any time. You can also print some parts if you need a specific wiring diagram or a specific information for yourself. So something very important as well is here in preferences. Yaltes feedback is very important for us because it's the way that our engineers know uh, what you need and what kind of suggestions you have or information or faults that have been occurred, yeah? So you cl click on here and then you decide what fault information and suggestion is. 
you add here your name, email, and phone number so we can mm, contact you, you know, and to help you what kind of problem you have. And you have here the possibility of adding the subject and description, of course, of what the full code is going on or the information that you need or suggestion that you have for us. This is very important for us because this is the way that we are improving our software all the time. Because you need to remember that we have uh, updates every four months with new systems, capabilities, and features, and makes, like we added in the last one, three makes in the agriculture module. Okay? So if we go back, then we go to the GRP module, as I said before. This module is very useful because it is where all your diagnostic reports and maintenance reports will be saved. So it is like the workshop management program that will organize and manage your activity. So you can see here all your customers and vehicles, and then you can create also the work orders and tasks for a specific people because the administrator of the account will need uh, to create different users. Uh, so you can create a technician, a shop foreman, and different users, yeah? And here, to activate it, you need to send us an email to customer support at yartes.com and saying that you want to activate the GRP enterprise module, and then we will guide you on how to do it. So you can also look for a specific vehicle using the VIN number, as you see here type of vehicle is agriculture in this case, because sometimes the bin number is sorted for agriculture vehicles, and then we introduce it and then we click on the search button. We'll look for it. You can search by model or search in the vehicle list that we already have. And then, and then you can also uh, personalize the brand and models here. If you want to add a specific brand or model, you can also do it with no problem, okay? Uh, if we go to agricultural vehicles, just yes, for you to show it that it's the same for any other make, like case, is the second biggest one. Go to the Magnum series, then we choose the one that we want to, like the final tier. And then our system scan, main system scan, a frequent test and maintenance resets, yeah? Then we will do the same. All system scan. We go to the connector to see where it is. We will always show you where the connector is, then the kind of connector that you need. So it will be the same process. It was just for you to see that it will be the same all across the, the software and with any make or model that you connect to. So here we are. I don't know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for your attendance. And we will send this webinar to everyone. So, and it will be also be uploaded in our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for everyone to attend. And I hope to see you in the next webinar.